In today's video, we're going to learn all about the Titanic. Wait, aren't we missing something? Oh yeah, Gus. Gus! Say it, believe it. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was just trying to get ready. <laughs> Now, in today's video, we're going to learn all about the Titanic. Yep, and also, don't forget to subscribe! Let's go! In today's video, we're going to learn all about the Titanic, but I wanted to tell you something first. Have you ever come up with a really good idea when you're sitting around talking to friends or family? I'm a genius! Well, did you know that while having dinner, J. Bruce Ismay and Lord William James Peary came up with the idea to build the Titanic. The RMS Titanic was built at the Harland and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast, Northern Ireland between 1909 and 1911. The Titanic cost $7,500,000 to be built back in 1911. That's about $400 million at the time that this video was made. The Titanic was almost as long as three football fields, about 883 feet long, and about 93 feet wide at its widest point. The Titanic had four elevators, as well as a heated swimming pool, a gym, two libraries, and two barber shops. Pretty elegant for a ship that was built over 100 years ago. Hey, guess what? The Titanic was one of the first ships to have a telephone system and electricity for the lights in every single room. The Titanic was able to carry 3,547 passengers along with crew. On the Titanic's first voyage, about 2,200 people were on it. Now that is a lot of people to feed. So the Titanic had 86,000 pounds of meat, 40,000 eggs, and 40 tons of potatoes. That's a lot of french fries. Let's not forget the veggies for salads and toppings. So add another 7,000 heads of lettuce, 3,500 pounds of onions, 36,000 apples, and 1,000 loaves of bread. Mmm, tasty. So, that's a lot of cost to keep this ship running. So, they had to make up for it some way, right? We need money bad. A first class ticket in 1912 to get on the Titanic cost $150, which is about $1,700 in today's money. And some tickets cost as much as $4,350 back then which is about $50,000 today. A third class ticket cost about $15 to $40 or $150 to $400 today. Wow. Captain Edward J. Smith was the captain of the Titanic. He was a master at sea with over 43 years of experience. I admit mistakes were made. The Titanic departed on April 10th, 1912 from Southampton, England on its first Atlantic crossing to New York. The trip was supposed to take about 137 hours to get to New York City. Four days later, at 11.40 p.m. on April 14, 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean. The iceberg damaged the Titanic's hull, which is the bottom of the ship. The iceberg created a hole that began letting water in, and the Titanic sank two hours and 40 minutes later at 2.20 a.m., on the 15th of April in 1912. So with an iceberg that large, you might be thinking, how did they not see it? And how did they hit it? Well, first, it was very late. There was no wind and the waters were very calm. With it being so late and dark, as well as calm, 
you can't see the iceberg because there is no water crashing up against it. They also didn't have any computers or radar like we do nowadays. The Titanic split into two pieces as it sank, killing over 1,500 people. Only around 705 people survived. One reason why so many people died was that the Titanic did not have enough lifeboats for everyone on board. There were supposed to be 48 lifeboats, but they only added 20 so the deck didn't look cluttered. So many activities. And these only gave enough room for 1,178 passengers, which is only about 30% of the Titanic's full capacity. Not the best idea in my opinion. First class women and children were allowed on the lifeboats first, followed next by first class men. Sadly, most second and third class passengers did not escape safely. Those who couldn't get in the lifeboat became trapped on the ship, drowned or froze to death in the 28 degree ocean water. Out of the 3,339 total passengers, only a little over 700 people survived the sinking of the Titanic. The Titanic's captain died during the sinking as well. Because so many people died, authorities added new laws to make ship travel much safer. These changes included requiring all ships to carry enough lifeboats for everyone on the ship and emergency materials like flares. Hey, guess what? On September 23rd in 1985, at 102 in the morning, the remains of the Titanic were discovered by a French and American team led by Robert Ballard. The story of the Titanic sinking has been made into several movies. The most popular movie was called Titanic in 1997, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. This is a pretty neat fact. A little girl named Milvina Dean was only nine weeks old when she was on board the Titanic. She was the last living survivor of the Titanic. She died in Ashurst, Hampshire, England on May 21st in 2009. She was 97 years old. Well, hey, guess what? Now we know all about the Titanic. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe.